promise you, this is my last video uh, in this outfit for for um, you know for these sets, these first sets of videos. But listen, um, I just want to hit y'all with something really quickly. So let's talk about career paths, right? So in choosing a career, when choosing a career, there are three things that I want you to think about, and this goes for some of you who you may not be in a career as yet and you're still trying to think about how to how to actually start working and then there's it, it's also for those of you who are already working who might even be within a career so to speak already but you're trying to figure out whether or not you're really in the right place um or you're just trying to figure out how do you double down if you are already in the right place right so it's really for anybody so um one of the key things that I want y'all to pay attention to, three things that I think will make it easy. And I think, uh, I think his name is Dick Bowles. He wrote this book called uh, Where's My Parachute? And if you're able to, I think that book can be very helpful for you. Um, it's a very good book in terms of like breaking down, uh, like getting into a job. So thing I want you to think about, three things. Remember this, skills, interests, and character, all right? And yes, I'm looking for my notebook. I got my notebook with me, all right? Skills, interests, and character. Now, watch this. Your, your, I want you to figure out, and we talked about self-awareness and self-assessment on one of the past videos. What are your skills that you have, right? And I'm not just talking about any type of skills, right? Because some of y'all are going to be like, well, I know how to dribble a ball. Okay, yeah, but that's limited. I'm talking about skills that are pretty transfer transferable throughout almost any industry, okay? So I'm just gonna use this as an example. There, there are many more that we can talk about, right? But let's talk about maybe being a, a statistician, right? Let's say, um, 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 you know, you do statistics, right? And so you play around a lot, or maybe even a data analyst is another person that we could use. Maybe even typewriting or, 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 or clerical skills is something else that we can use, right? Um, maybe you're a good writer or maybe you're a very good public speaker. Um, what else is, is it that we can talk about? Um, um, I'll leave it there for now, right? But start thinking about what are a bunch of different types of skills that people use every day, all right? And after you've thought about that, that's just your skills, your abilities, that's what you're able to do. Maybe you're very good with tools and putting things together, okay? And then I want you to think about what are your interests? What sectors are you interested in, right? So you might be a data analyst or you might be a, a, a very good as far as clerical and office work, right? But that doesn't necessarily tell you yet what sector you want to work in. And what sector you want to work in would probably be best found based off of what is your interest. Why? Because you might want to work in government. Governments have statisticians and, and, are, and are often reaching out to people who do like polls, like the Gallup polls or the Pew Research, right? So you might want to work for a, a government administration or with a, a, an organization that does a lot of work with um, um, political with, with, um, with the government, right? Um, you might want to take those same stat statistician skills or those same data analyst skills and you might want to use those within the medical industry, right? Maybe you want to go into, uh, and, and then that's where certain things tie together, right? Because maybe uh, public health can also be considered medical, right? But, but maybe you want to go into the medical industry. Maybe you want to use the office skills that you have to work at the front desk at a medical office and be something like a medical assistant or something like that, right? Or maybe you have those office skills and statistician skills. Uh, well, maybe statistician skills, not as much. But maybe you want to use those skills in a legal environment, right? So those are sectors because you're interested in that kind of stuff. Or maybe you want to work for a startup company who's developing, who's starting to develop a new company and you want to work with the startup. You like the startup kind of environment. Or maybe you want to take those skills and use them within a technology company, right? So you see how those sectors that I'm talking about are a little bit different than talking about the skill itself. You have skills and then you have 
industries in which you can apply those skills, right? And then the last thing that I want you to think about is the um, your character. So first you have the skills, then you have the industries where you want to use your skills in, but you need to think about what type of person am I when I use those skills? Am I a person who is who pays a lot of attention to detail? Or who am I the person who's able to stand back and see the big picture, right? Because based on that, I, I need to understand how can I best use my skills and my strengths? Where, where is my strength lie? How do I use those skills that I have in alignment with my strengths, okay? So am, am I, do I pay attention to detail? Or maybe I'm not detail-oriented, but I'm the person that always sees the big picture. And so maybe I'm very good at, maybe I should be on a management level, right? Um, if I'm meticulous, maybe I'm not the person that should be a management level because I like to get into the detail, all right? Um, am I a person who uh, always is, um, 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 you know, st Am I the person who doesn't stop until something is finished, right? Am I, or am I a person who's great at delegating? Am I a person who's great at being a part of a team? Or am I the type of person who's better at uh, working alone and, and just being left to my thoughts? Am I, am I a person who processes information in my head a lot? Or am I the person who, who likes to actually get my hands on it in order to figure it out, right? So we're talking about like the character with which you do um, what it is that you, the, the things that you do, all right? Do you do things very, very fast? Or are you the person who likes to take your time and do things, right? None of these things are greater than the other, but it might show, it might help you to think about where you should position yourself better in order to be effective as an employee or even as a business owner, okay? Or as a, as a social entrepreneur, you know, a government official, what have you. So, I hope that that was helpful. Um, as I just get more and more information that I think is helpful to you, I'm just going to pass it on, right? I'm not going to try to, uh, I'm going to make it as good as possible, but I'm just more concerned with y'all getting the information, right? So I really hope that this information is going to help us go from being average and, 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 and turn into the powerful people and, and develop the powerful lives, the explosive lives that we want to have, right? So remember, average is failure, and this year we're going to unleash the power. And these are just small steps toward us unleashing the power. We're going to get more and more into this stuff, all right? Peace.